Welcome back. So a few accessories have already showed up in the mail. So we're going to crack them open, put them on the bike and see how they turn out. A couple videos ago, one of you guys mentioned that I was missing the fork stopper on the bottom left side of the bike and I should get some of these, which are stoppers that are integrated into the top front stay of the bike. Almost all the reviews online said that they would not work and you ha would have to shave them down a bunch to get the lock to even work on this bike. So I just tested it and sure enough, I am going to need to shave down a bit on these stoppers right here. But I like how seamless they are and how they just flow with the bike and you can't really see them. I'm gonna pop these off, shave them down and get them back on and see if they work with the lock. But we got the turn signals in and these are a turn signal delete kit. I didn't wanna go with the big mirrors because those look big and bulky and they don't fit the sleek look of the Pentagali. They both work as you guys saw earlier. I tested them both. Hazards, left, right, turn signal work perfectly. They plug right into the OEM harness, which is awesome. And they're gonna mount directly up to the OEM fairing. And last but not least, I think my favorite thing I've done tonight so far is this fiberglass wrap that covers the exhaust on the right side of the bike. Now, one of the main reasons I did this is because there actually is a recall on the older 1199's bottom belly fairings because they touch the exhaust right about here too closely and it actually starts a fire on some of the fairings and some of the bikes have actually burned down surprisingly enough. Ducati actually made a updated version of the belly fairing that you can get but I don't really want to go that route because I don't have warranty on this bike because it's a salvage bike and I bet that bottom side of the bike is going to look really clean with the red fairing and then this wrap over the exhaust. Unfortunately a lot of the reviews were saying that it was going to turn white after a while but we'll see how that turns out once I get riding in the spring. Steering stoppers have been modified. I also bled the brake and the clutch just like you guys recommended and they're feeling really good. I still won't know until I actually go out riding, but man, they do feel a lot better than before. It's that time to start bringing out all the fairings, test fitting what I have right now and figuring out if I'm missing any hardware.
sure you guys are well aware how OEM pieces really don't fit up very well to aftermarket pieces. And that's exactly how this carbon fiber piece on this Ducati is fitting right now. Right off the bat, I already had to cut two sections off the bottom of the piece. As before, this piece was sitting too high. So these bolts actually weren't grabbing on the threads below. So it couldn't even be bolted down. So I had to trim that up. Now it looks pretty good, but still it's not very flush around the whole bike. But hey, it looks pretty sweet. Wow, this thing is really coming together. It looks so good in that red. I'm glad I chose that and didn't go aftermarket with the fairings. The headlight fairing and the side fairing are both of the fairings that I'm waiting on right now. I also have a tinted windshield on the way as well for the headlight fairing. I don't quite remember what all I have left for this bike, but right now I'm actually tallying up all my purchases what the cost of the bike was and everything for you guys so I can give you guys a final price reveal on this Ducati Panigale 1199. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to discuss the story and the price of this Ducati. Now, when it comes to the story of this bike, I actually don't know what happened to the previous owner, nor do I have any contact information, but the bike was sold to me by Progressive Casualty Insurance. Now, I'm not sure what that means, whether the insurance company is selling the bike because of a casualty or that's just a type of insurance. I'm not too familiar with that stuff. Also recently, I purchased a VIN check on this bike and I figured out on October 9th, 2018, it was registered for a new title in Tennessee and the title listing said it had 7,300 miles on the odometer. So in 2018, this had 7,300 miles on the odometer. It's 2022 right now, so that's four years. The bike was a 2014, so that's four years. So roughly the bike has around 14,000 miles on it now, if we were just consistently adding miles based on the previous number we have here. Now down to the good stuff, the prices. So I purchased all my parts on eBay and Ducati Omaha. Those are the two places where I purchased everything. Now on Ducati Omaha, I spent $1,001.66. On eBay, I spent $6,440.45 on parts. And I purchased this bike from Copart, which is an auctions dealer, for $5,079. And that's, that's including the price of the bike, all the fees, and the delivery to my house. And all that rounds out to be $12,521.11 for everything I've purchased on the bike, including the bike and everything. This number does not include registration, plates, or the title transfer, which I'm still in the process of doing, and that stuff adds up pretty quickly. So it's acceptable to say that this bike has cost me around $13,000 for everything combined. When I purchased this vehicle, the estimated repair cost was $18,693. That is what the insurance company quoted the person whoever crashed this bike or whoever was trying to fix this bike. The estimated retail value of this bike currently is $11,774 based on the insurance company. And the number of items I purchased for this bike as a whole was about 57 items. Now, considering how this bike is estimated retail value with a clean title around $11,000, and it's costing me around 13,000 to repair everything and get it back to OEM specs you could say that this was a very big loss for me but i once heard that you can't buy experience so that takes the cake for me and the opportunity to work on a ducati of this caliper right here with the technology and everything that comes with it unbeatable and the reason why most of my parts are from ebay is because i went the used route for all my parts if i would have went brand new for this bike oh my goodness man i would have been way over like fifteen thousand or who knows, maybe 18,000 on this bike. So most of these parts aren't perfect. There's a few nicks and scratches in a few of the fairings. Some of the pieces have been used. Some of the pieces may have a little bit of damage on them, but nothing that is not acceptable. And speaking of new parts, the last two fairings that I've been waiting for have just arrived. So, hey, let's slap them on. <laughs> Oh,
that has got to be one of my worst decisions. That was terribly cold. The bike is completely done, finished. All I have left is the license plate bracket and that's it for the rest of the bike. Big thanks to my family for being super supportive, but most importantly, all the glory goes to God. I'm beyond excited to show you guys what's next. See ya.